Hello, Pam here with Magic Studios for another mini lesson. Today, a two signature journal. It makes a really cool journal out of a single eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper or cardstock. There are two um, stitching places on either side of that middle page, and you can hardly, you can't see the stitches at all. So the next image is the supplies you will need. Please pause this so that you can go gather all these supplies. So now you've got your piece of paper that you've chosen. Please fold it in half. Grab a bone folder if you have it. That makes the creases so much easier. And then you're going to fold this in about an inch. I have already pre-measured this and uh, again use the bone folder to make sure the creases are really sharp and crisp. Flip it over again measuring a, an inch with a ruler and bone fold that crease. Now you have some um, you have this one paper with a seam in the middle you are going to need a template that is the same size as your paper. I'm darkening the holes that I have punched. An easy tip on that is to fold your paper in half, punch one hole in the middle, and then two at the same distance. Now, use an old catalog and open it up for this next part and I've got to stop and back up and get my copy paper folded. So I cut two inches off that copy paper because it needs to be 11 inches for my particular journal. Have four sheets of paper for each signature. Fold, match those corners. Grab that bone folder. I always start in the middle and then move to the end and that just keeps the papers from slipping. Do it again and uh, you will have your two signatures of paper which is just a folio or a group of papers as one group and in book binding it's called a signature. So now that I have those I'm going to pull my catalog back and open it up to a random page if you have a book cradle, that is also very nice, but this is a makeshift book cradle, which works perfectly fine. And I know we all get a few book uh, catalogs in the mail. So place one signature on one side of that fold. Use these clothespins to hold it on that middle folded paper. Paper clips also work well, or binder clips. I just find clothespins are easier to manipulate. Do the same with the second signature, and this time you're going to join the second signature with the first signature in and around that folded piece of paper. So be very careful that you don't lose where it's folded. Now. Open the catalog back up again and get your template and see the three holes on that. Then match it up top and bottom and with the center crease. And as you see, I'm slipping the clothespin off very easily. The next tool you will need will be um, a needle tool. It's also called an awl in woodworking. And then use that in the center of the catalog and press and push to make a hole. And this one's really simple. You only have six holes to punch. All right, change the template to the back. And you see, I keep my journal down on the table while I'm moving these around. It's for security, and it's easier. And again, find that 
nestled opening of your catalog to puncture holes. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. And I always find that if I'm standing up, it works a little bit easier. So then make sure you have those holes punched and remove your template. We're off to a great start. Okay, we're going to measure our thread. You can use wax linen. You can use embroidery floss. Anything that's fairly heavy. So there's one time the length of my book. Two times. And then three times plus a little extra. I'm always scared of running out of thread in the middle of stitching the journal. The needle is a bookbinder's needle. All right, so thread your needle, bookbinder's needle, with your thread. And we're going to start in the middle hole on one side. It doesn't matter which one. Come all the way through to the outside, pushing and then pulling from the outside. And leaving a little bit in on that side. Whoops, did you see that? It went all the way through. Well, I have a trick for that. Let's do that again. So you're going to start. You're going to push it in through the middle hole. Pull it. Watch it as you're pulling it. Leave a fair amount so that you can put it underneath that clothespin to hold it in place and you won't do like I did and pull it all the way out. So then you're going to work from the outside and go in the hole on the other side of the signature. They are uber close together. So you're going to stick it and it, the needle through and it comes through on the inside of the journal. Pull it through and just kind of gently snug it up and then from that middle position you are going to choose to go to either outside hole does not matter you're going to go stick it all the way through the outside see that then pull and you're holding the journal and the clothespins are still holding all those pages together Okay, snug it up gently, and then go on the outside of that hole on the other signature side. Poke from the outside to the inside of the journal pages, and pull. You shouldn't have any danger of pulling your thread all the way out. It's so small you can hardly see that thread, too. So now from that top hole, go all the way down to the opposite outside hole. Skipping over that uh, extra length of uh, yarn and thread that we have saved on the clothespin. Okay, pull it through the outside. Then go over, poke it into the other signature and come on the inside. See how neat and tidy that is. And then pull that snug, and we're going in through the middle hole on one side, and we're going to go back in on the other side and be complete. And when we've done that, you will want to tie a knot. I always like a square knot, but you can choose any knot and you can choose to tie it once or twice or three times just to make sure that it's secure. And see, I undid it from the clothespin and tie. And I see the other little trick I do. I always like to hold that big long middle line down so I make sure and tie the knot around that string as well. Or thread. Again, like I said, tied as many times as you would like. 
and then leave approximately a half an inch of tails for your journal tying. And look at that. Snug it up and, and just crease it a little bit and you have made a journal. A very simple two signature journal that would be great for anyone, especially since it's coming close to gift giving season, which is any time.